So, I'm not sure if I want to start with the word so every single time. So I think we're going to start over again. <laughs> For real. <laughs> start over again. Now! <laughs> kid <laughs> you don't know, even Maddie says she doesn't remember figure painting well I did and with the little birds I actually more often than not paint them with my finger so we're gonna play with the little AccuCut bird dies and actually it was this um, die that we used and this is probably my favorite shape bird I use it more than any other one so I die cut um, several birds out of some vintage music super cute right and I'm going to go ahead and spritz them. They're a little bit light, so they're going to try to run away. Hopefully I clean my mat. And then I'm going to stick my finger. Actually, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to stick the finger that I actually would use. And I'm going to think like this. And I'm just going to rub it on his little bottom of his body. I'm going to rub this one on the bottom of this little body. And there we go. And then I'm going to rinse my little finger off and I'm going to mix it with some olive green and I'm going to go up here. And the reason I usually do um, with my finger is I, I feel like I have more control. It's almost like putting makeup on. And it looks a little bit more watery and it looks a little bit just, I don't know, a little more natural. And when I use a paintbrush on these little guys, sometimes it seems to be a little bit I don't know, too heavy or too much in the same spot, and I just want it to kind of flow. That and the fact that I used to love finger painting when I was a kid. Let me tell you, it was probably one of my favorite things in school to do. Seriously. Maddie's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Finger painting was huge. Okay. I'm going to use a paper towel and get it all mapped up. Look how pretty that is. Okay, let's do another one. How about, how about this pretty pink here? I mean, everybody needs a pink bird. It's springtime, for goodness sakes. A little bit darker. Did you see the words on that? Can we read that? Stood la pumpa. Now, there's a song for you. I'm not sure. Is any, I, I'll, I'll send a bottle of Twinks to anybody who can give me the entire uh, lyrics to Stood la pumpa. I'll just send off something. Right? What do you think, Maddie? Good idea? Yeah. Think anybody's going to be able to figure it out? Probably. They'll just look it up online, Mom. Darn. Shh, don't give them any ideas. You're not supposed to tell them how to do it. You're supposed to make them work That's for why it. why we have the internet. No, we didn't to have... get free stuff from artists. Well, I'm an old fart, so we didn't have the internet when I was little. Yeah, I didn't even now. know what it was. Until You're about... obsessed with the internet. I am. I'm obsessed. So look how pretty. What do you think? Looks pretty amazing. Let's try this red up here. Keep going a little bit. Ooh, that doesn't look very red, does it? Looks more like spiced pumpkin. Maddie says I should use this one. All right. Look how pretty that is. Um, I actually started doing this not necessarily because I'm so happy about finger painting. The very first time I did it, it was because I lost one of my paintbrushes. And I decided that I would play with my fingers in the paint. And then it started realizing how good it felt. Just sometimes getting my fingers dirty makes my day. There's something about paint and wet and fingers inky. It just feels good, doesn't it? All right, so these are my cute little birds. Typically, um, when I use the little birds, I die cut a piece of cardboard as well that after this dries, I'm going to mount the bird on. It gives it a little bit more um, stability. And I do the same thing with the wing. I'll mount the little wings on it. And just like I did um, the birds, I do the same thing with these guys. Get it all nice and paint it. Good to go. Usually it doesn't like stick to my fingers. Easier said than done. It's only difficult when you're trying to video, right? Typically. Okay, so here's a finished 
little tag, and you can kind of see um, I inked the edges of his wings just so that it would uh, have a little bit more of a defined edge. But you can see how it's used. There we go. So that's a little bit of an idea of uh, how to use your fingers with Luminart. It's a brush you can't lose. Looks like this when you're done. But that's my happy place. Uh, have a good day. Talk to you soon.